Meet Ray One Galaxy, the world's first spiral full range of vision IOL. We spoke to Professor Claudette Abela Formanek, one of the galaxy's first in eye surgeons, for her initial impressions of the newest member of the Ray One platform. New generation of 60 year olds. They're very active, they're very informed, they're educated. Here's a wish for a spectral independence. So many patients, especially in Austria, I would say, are unhappy to use the reading glasses because they've been using it for so many years. So I think the communication to your patient is one of the most important parts of implanting a premium lenses in patients. It looks the same like a Rayner lens, so the implantation is completely spectacular, it's the same. It centers very well, especially if you're using a toric lens. We checked the patients after one week and we had no rotation. Their reading ability improves after three days and after one week they had no problems with reading. They were seeing at all distances, they were very happy. Outcome is very good. They have a very good visual acuity in the distance. Uncorrected is OO. And at intermediate, it's Lokmar OO, and the reading was somewhere between OO and O1. Interesting about this lens is that these patients do not report that they have halos. This is something which is a really upside because many doctors or many patients don't want multifocals. As soon as you mention halos, many patients aren't interested in a multifocal lens. Somebody's driving a car, uh, you know, somebody who lives further out, and I always ask for nighttime driving. I also find out if the patient tends to be um, very uh, critical, you know, then I'm very careful when I give a multifocal lens. But in this case, I would be most probably a bit more, I'd be more lenient and I'd be more tolerant. Surgeon doesn't have any experience with multifocal lenses. It's definitely a lens to start with, for sure. And I would say to stick to, because it's a refractive lens. It does not have the problems, but diffractive lens where the light is split and poses more problems with contrast sensitivity. We know, at least in the patients I've operated, they don't have halos, so no dysphotopsias. You're bound to have less problems with the patients later. So definitely a lens I would um, use because you're making the life of your patient easier, but also yours. It's been 75 years since Rayner and Sir Harold Ridley pioneered the first intraocular lens, and much has changed. At ESCRS 2024, Rayner proudly introduced Ray One Galaxy, the world's first spiral IOL and the newest addition to the Ray One platform. Offering a full range of vision with minimized dysphotopsia, Ray One Galaxy opens up a new dimension of possibilities for spectacle independence, bringing IOL technology into the modern era. For more information on how to add the Ray One Galaxy to your presbyopia correcting IOL portfolio, speak to your local Rayner representative today.